Assalamu alaikum guys. Today our dish is a very famous dish, Pakistani and Indian dish, which is called Nihari. I'm sure that all of you know the Nihari. It's basically chicken or beef with a gravy. And as you see, we are going to make these kinds. And uh, uh, I'm gonna show you the steps one by one. And the bread, there's another video I make the bread. If you can, I will leave the link in the description box. But now we are going to do the Nihari three dishes and I will show you how to do it. So please, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Come on, let's see. First, what we will do. Okay, now I have done this one. You know these spots? Those spots I have done them. I'm going to leave a video, a link down, down uh, about how to do these spots. Uh, basically, it's a recycle bottles, empty bottles, plastic bottles. I do I make them like this here this is one so it looks like those matkas which they are selling it the food uh, the nihari which they sell it in the bazaar okay these are a pre-baked uh, bones I have done them before and I'm using here a salt dough which is homemade salt dough also I have one of the videos to show my recipe how I make it now these are pastels color I'm gonna mix these three colors to make the meat don't make it too much dark because you know the sole dough it, when it dries it becomes darker I'm using here atta flour because sole dough sometimes sticks in my hands so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cover the bones the pre-picked pre uh, bones I'm gonna cover them with the meat try to shape as the piece of Nihari like that now if the bone soft I cannot handle it well I cannot shape it nicely that's why I do it one day before um, then it would be easy to handle it here you see it's a little bit sticky now I'm gonna make some cuts here because as you know the Nihari beef is cooked for six to seven hours so it's very 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 soft and it's like that try to make as much as I can realistic as much as I can to give more details I'm using this um, foil paper no, the details here is not that much important because it's going to be covered with the curry so um, I'm not gonna pay attention too much to it but I need the bone to be uh, seen here that's why I'm removing a little bit of the meat and I will take it I put it in the side or if I want to uh, use it quickly I'll just put it in the oven I'll bake it for uh, three minutes uh, uh, on the number hundred but because I'm gonna make another kind another meat so I will leave it outside now this is another shape the fat one the same technique I used before I will do it here also and I keep it this piece is without a bone Now for the speed, um, sometimes I, I do meat or chicken or vegetables and I keep them. When I have a project, I need to use meat in it and I bring, bring those ones so it will save time. This is another piece. Here we go. Now I'm going to make the gravy. I'll take a little bit of the salt dough. I put on top of it polymer, um, sorry, PV glue and pastel color. I mix it and make it like that. Then I will add here a real spices, which is um, turmeric and the food color, because I want to have the same color as the, the real curry. And nothing better than the real spices, which they use it in the Nihari, so that it will give the same color. I'll take some here and I will cover the pot from down, and I will put, I'll try to put the pieces of meat on top I'm not gonna cover it because I need that we can see the meat so I'm going to cover the meat with a very uh, light tone of that paste I have done 
so I'll mix it with water so it will look like it's transparent so we can see the meat but the meat has the same tone as the curry you got my point yes like that see okay I'll keep it on the side and now in the shops as you know street food uh, the man cuts have a plate in front of him and he cuts the meat he just put the meat and he cuts and he put it uh, in every uh, body's plate okay so that plate is very important they cut it, they call it the cutting plate so it always have these pieces of meat which is sliced okay so I'm going to make it and I'll just put two three pieces like that which is really well 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 cooked and I give them a tone by a very light color of the paste I make here okay now because he's always grabbing the meat with a spoon in front of him so I'm going to make that kind of indicate you see I'm gonna make it like this to give the feeling that he is grabbing the meat and he's cutting it in that plate well he has a special uh, spoon for that I'm gonna show you how to make it as well now this is a plate which is going to give to the customer it has two pieces and also we will color the now we will not be worried about because when the play dough when this uh, salt dough will dry okay it will be sticky i'm going to put real spices here black pepper and red chilies on top this place is a little bit empty so i'm going to add more but between the meat not going to cover it now what is left is this is the oil so i'm using raisin <coughs> sorry two parts two portion one to one and I'm going to color it with raisin color transparent colored orange because I want to make the oil and you know in Pakistani and Indian food they use a lot of oil so I'm going to cover it with that I'm not going to cover the meat I'm going to put in between slowly slowly like that if I'm making a curry for example then the oil I'm going to use is going to be yellow um, because here it has tomato sauce and all those things that's why i'm using the orange one it depends on what kind of dish you are making nihari is one of my favorite dishes the beef nihari i like it it's very tasty It goes yummy with the non, non bread. Okay. Don't put too much. Just put little and wait because um, it's going to go down more. Then if you feel after sometimes that you need to put some more, then you can add some more because it's going to absorb all the thing down. Then we have to add after some time again. Here we go. You see? I'll add some more and I will put also four. Uh, use the brush and cover a little bit the bones. Here we go. That's the real <coughs> Nihari on top. I'll do the same thing here in this plate. And here. How do you like that if I will do paya? If 
you're if you are really interested that I will do Paya, please write in the comments. I'll do Paya. Or if there is any other Pakistani dish or Indian dish you want me to do, just write for me in the comments, please. Here we go. See this plate? The cutting plate? That's the guy. I'm thinking of making samosas and kebabs and those things. If you are interested, please write in the comments. A little bit of the black pepper. Now I'm going to make ginger. I have to cut here salt too. Very, very thin. I'll cut it like that. And put it on top. And I have already some green chilies. I have done them before. I can now use them. Here we go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Say mashallah, guys. <laughs> glass color I'm going to make it shiny especially the green chili here we go I hope you like it and here I'm going to present it I'm making I make this this piece is a piece of wood I'm just gonna put it on top here it can be used as a fridge magnet I put magnet at the back or it's a decoration piece on top of the desk or anything like that can be a nice gift for people who like Nihari for example a unique personalized gift so I hope you like the video uh, say mashallah I hope you like the video and please write for me in the comments what else you want me to do and um, if you like the video please like and share and subscribe to my channel and um, that's it hope to see you next time bye bye Thanks for watching. If you really like the video, please like, share, subscribe and turn the notification bell. So hope to see you next time. Bye.